Oké, okay, dit gaat uh, moment van de troef worden. Dit wordt tamelijk. Oh, no. Bijna! <laughs> Bijna! <laughs> no! We're done! It actually, it actually works pretty well. Hold up, I did not expect this. So, about two months ago, I was playing Humans vs. Zombies and thought to myself, wouldn't it be really funny if I killed people using AV wheel? There have been a lot of videos about weird ways to play World of Tanks, like a steering wheel or controllers. I, however, rather quickly stumbled across multiple obstacles, like getting the Wii Remote to pair with a PC to begin with. But the real problem was trying to map inputs. I tried so many different methods, but either the program prevented my controller from connecting, or it just didn't know what a Wii Remote was. I got desperate. But with the help of some random guy in 2011 and some AI programming tool, I finally managed to do it. This took me 15 hours. <laughs> also, this video will be primarily about the Wii View and not the Nunchuck or the Classic Controller, because the Wii View is a lot harder to understand. So when you understand this, the Nunchuck will be a lot easier to get working. So the first thing we actually want to do, of course, is connecting the Wii Remote to the PC. And the way we want to do that is by downloading the Dolphin emulator. It's dolphinemu.org. And you see here the downloads, and you download Windows X64, um, the most recent one. Or if you use like macOS or Android, it's right here. So as you can see, we've downloaded it right here. It's in WinRAR, so we want to unzip it. Just like this, just give it some time. You want to open it and you want to open Dolphin. So you probably don't see any games right here, but that really doesn't matter. You just need to go to controllers and at the Wii Remote, you want to select the real Wii Remote. So after you've done that, you get your Wii Remote and you press the red button to connect it to your PC. Just give it some time. And as you can see, it is spared right now. Uh, what you don't want to do next is basically, of course, get it to work because right now we really can't do anything but play some games on the Dolphin emulator itself. So we want to go to Google again and we want to find Glove Pie. It's basically this GitHub page right here. And here, right here are the releases. Basically just get the first one. It really doesn't matter, but I like this one. And again, you need to unzip it, zip it. And right here, it's called Cloth Pie. So what you do now is you delete this and you paste the code that's in the description. So right now, you basically have the Wii Remote paired you have the code and all you need to do is press run. And you go to the game that you, that you want to play and it should just work. So basically two is W, one is backwards. The arrows, you just look around, B is left mouse. Uh, A, I pressed, I used space. And like plus is four, minus is five. But basically what you can do is change this code to your heart's desire. All you need to do is press stop and change some of these things right here. What I really recommend is just find different um, things on Google. Just search up glove pie code for your favorite game and maybe something shows up. But the easiest way to change it are the buttons. 
And really this is because of this dot right here. Because if you, let's say, want to change the queue, all you need to do is type keyboard dot and you basically get an entire list right here what you can change. So let's say you say Q, it's Q, remote, dot, and you get a lot of options. So this program does kind of help you in that way. And something very important right here is the different X, Y, Z axis. If you, let's say it goes left way too easily and it takes right very long to react actually. You basically need to change the C offset to make sure it's as close to zero as possible. But yeah, so basically a big reason why I made this video is because I just got desperate. Like there was no way to get it to work. So this was like my last ditch effort. So I would really enjoy if people who actually know how to code could improve upon this code. Or people could go to the comments and actually help other people get the V remote to actually work without all these different stupid steps. <laughs> and also um, with the cloth pie code a lot of people just use the Wii Remote itself and like a nunchuck. But like who actually cares? Like you can't just use a Switch controller or like an Xbox controller. Like wow, you are using like a stick to move. But I want to use motion controls and the only way I found that is by some guy in 2011 asking a question on a board. So massive thank you to that guy. Yeah, but because you can change almost any button you want, you can play any game you want. So let's say here I want the button B to be shift. And I run it. And I can basically play just the best racing game ever made. Lego Racers 1999. Yeah. This is not the most optimal way to play it, but it's definitely a way. No! Come on! No! Why am I actually in second? It actually, it actually works pretty well. Hold up, I did not expect this. Come on, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 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 let's go, we take those, too easy bro, with a Wii wheel, <laughs> how did this work, bruh, <laughs> no way, okay, so right here is another piece of code, um, I changed the camera from just the um, arrows on the keyboard to an actual mouse. Um, this is definitely isn't perfect because as you can see right here, um, if you press um, an arrow once, it moves 40 units. And you might ask like, why don't you just change the, the DPI? Because it doesn't work for me, unfortunately. So if you know how to code, Please help. Bye bye. Let's go. Nah, I win. It is one hundred percent not perfect, but 
it works, I guess. <laughs> no! Hey. I suck. <laughs> Hold up. We take those. But yeah, if you want the mouse to move faster or slower, right now with this code you need to change these numbers. I would love for it to be the actual mouse DPI, but I could not get it to work. So if you know how to actually change this with the mouse DPI, please tell me in the comments and please help the other people. <laughs> So you use the home button to go to your inventory, but as you can see, with a single press, it goes 30 units, which is kinda annoying. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I got this. Hey. Wait, no! Uh, so yeah, I hope this video will help at least a few people. Because I do not wish this amount of frustration and helplessness upon my worst enemy. It was awful. The glove pie scripts are in the description. There will also be one about the nunchuck as an example. And besides that I also made code for some more games. But I did not want to edit for another 5 hours. So I will just put them in the description as well. I will also try to update these scripts. So if you watch this like a year later. It will probably be a lot better than it is right now. But yeah, thank you for watching and bye bye.